cardio day today. This is traditional Tabata format, 20 seconds on, hard all out effort, and 10 second break in between. Um, there will be four exercises, push jacks, mountain climbers, speed skaters, and high knees. We will focus on one at a time. So we'll do push jacks first for eight rounds of 2010. It takes a one minute, 60 second break um, at the end of each exercise. Once you've completed all eight rounds, take a break. Um, I'm not going to take a break just because of recording reasons. So I want you to press pause and take your break and then unpause it when you're ready to start the next round. Um, instructions here, push jacks. You want to be down in your squat position. We're going to start with our feet together. Push out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. You want to keep it low. So you're not standing up, but you're keeping it low and bent over. You can always add on to this. If you want more, you can add a weight. Hold a weight in your hand and push out and in. You can go up. You can play with it and be as creative as you want. Um, always keep your abs in. That's something I'm always going to say every day. Stop! Uh, second one, mountain climbers down on the ground. If you have wrist issues or wrist problems, we can fix that. Simply grab a set of weights and hold your weight in your hand on the ground. That will keep your wrist in a neutral position rather than being bent like that on the floor. We'll keep it at neutral, so it won't hurt as bad. So mountain climbers, plank position, shoulders down away from your ears, abs pulled in. You're leaning over your hands. You never want to be out here, okay? Keep that in mind. Your wrist should be underneath your shoulders the whole time. And bring one knee in, drive it all the way up between your arms, or as far as you can. Everybody's at different fitness levels, so do you understand that? So if your fitness level is just right here, that's awesome. Everybody starts someplace. Uh, but keep your back nice and flat. Don't do this. Okay? You want to keep it nice and flat. Use your abs. You're using your lower abs to pull those knees in. You're also going to get a great shoulder workout uh, while you're doing that as well. Third, speed skaters. These are some of my favorites. All right, come on. Get out. Go. Shoot. I love them, but they're a little distracting. Some of my favorite for cardio and legs. Uh, it's very much like a curtsy lunge that we did in our last workout. Step back and step back. And this would be your low impact option. But if you want just a little bit more for the cardio, you're going to take it a little step further. Jump out and sink. Jump out and sink. And a good rule, good, good rule of thumb is to have a mat in front of you. Stretch it out so you know you have kind of the perimeter of how far you want to be jumping. I'm going to grab one right now just so you know. Of course, this one's extra long, so I'm going to put it in half. Just gives you a visual. Make sure that you are going at your full potential. So you want to start at one side. Jump out and sink. Jump out and sink. On the side, it looks like this. Oopsies. Jump out and sink. Notice my knee is still behind my toe. My chest is up. Pushing off that bent leg and sinking down into the other one. 
Awesome, can't wait. Third, pretty simple, you've probably seen it before, high knees. Now it's not running in place, it's something different. Of course, low impact option would be to do something a little bit lower to the ground. The advantage of doing the high knees, it's extra cardio, because you're bringing your legs up higher. You're also working your core. So if you're going to do the high knees, lean back, chest is up. Make your abs work. Pull the knees up. And stay on the toes. Those are the instructions for this video. I will walk you through a quick warm up. Um, you don't have to do the warm Well, you should do a warm up. You don't have to do this one. But I like this one. It works for me. I do it in all of my classes. Even the men do it, even though it's a little aerobic ish. I'm going to slow down the music just for a second. So here's your warm up. Abs are pulled in, shoulders are down and back. Warm up is just to get your body moving, get your blood flowing, and warm up your muscles. So here we go. Four, three, two, walk forward. One, two, three, heel, back, toe. Just start with your legs at first. Tap, tap, tap. Once you've got your rhythm, then you can do the arms. One more time. Now we're going to side step out, open, close. Again, start with just the legs. Abs are pulled in, shoulders are down, open it. Arms and legs, open at the same time. Nice straight arms, don't bend at the elbows. We're stretching the chest. Four, three, two, and one. Switching to hamstring curls, same motion, side to side. Tapping, 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 tapping. We're gonna bring the heel up.
touch your toes if you're a guy and you don't want to do your elbows. Twist, twist. Four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders back. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Heels out. Plie squat. Nice and tight. Tuck the knees right above the ankles. You're squeezing on the way down, squeezing with your cheeks. The thing I like to tell my classes when we do these, you gotta pretend that there's a tissue on the ground. You gotta pick it up with your cheeks. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Pick up that pencil. Four more. Three. Toes come forward, bring your old legs in a little bit, hip width apart. Regular squat, toes forward, knees forward, chest is up. And last one, lunge position. Legs hip width apart, take a step back on your right foot. Come up on the ball of your toe. Standing up nice and tall, don't hunch forward. Come straight down. Squeeze, push up. Digging in with that front heel. From the side. training. I'm going to start the next video. All right, I've got my water, I've got my towel, don't need any weights today. I've got my timer set at 2010. Keep in mind, Tabata is hard. Um, it's tons of cardio. Do what you can. Go at your own pace. Um, you know, everybody builds up. Everybody starts someplace. Don't worry about it. Do what you can. Give your 100% and you'll be fine. Push jacks coming up. Four, three, two, and go. Keep breathing. Knees are soft the whole time. Push, push. Chest is up. What is that? Squeeze. Squeezing the outer thighs, squeezing the inner thighs. Break. 10 seconds goes fast. Low impact 
option. Step out to the side. But keep it low. Break. I'm marking off my interval and my breath and my sets so I don't lose track. Options. Up, back, 
more. Two, and go. Abs are tight. You should feel jiggling. It's gonna jiggle. back 
stretching. Oh, hamstring, the back of your knee, your calf. All good stuff. And breathe. stretch for about 10 seconds, at least, the longer the better, but I understand we all have time constraints, oh and lean, release, cross the left foot over, both hips down, stand up nice, sit up nice and tall, wrap the arm around, chest is nice and tall, head is up, chest, your heart center, arms come back, you can either clasp behind you, squeezing your hands together, your palms together, roll the shoulders back and down, lift your chest up, this is a good one to do first thing in the morning too. remembers a uh, Facebook post a while ago where I said I wanted collarbones, I wanted to have collarbone implants because they didn't have any. It was because my posture was bad. I've been working on my posture ever since then and my collarbones are finally showing. Just a side note. Great. Deep inhale, deep exhale, abs are pulled in. Remember, concentrate, think about filling your lungs up very slowly all the way up to the, you feel it in the back of your throat. And a nice, slow, control, push it all the way out, deep inhale, here we go. And exhale, see you later, thanks for joining me, I hope you had fun, do some abs. <laughs> 